You know, whenever I hear of somebody dying by the electric chair, I always think of the song by Usher called Let It Burn, and it simply goes, Let it burn, let it burn, and that's just not funny, right? No, it's not. Uh, anyway, Edmund Zagorski, you may have heard of him really just recently, in the past couple of hours, as he is now, what, the 130-something person in Tennessee um, to be put to death in that state. I'm not sure what the numbers are for uh, every U.S. state, but um, yeah, Edmund Zagurski died uh, just after, I believe, 6 o'clock or right before 6.30 Central Standard Time tonight. Um, and it just brings to question uh, the premise of the death sentence. Now, Edmund Zagurski's story, um, while he's been on death row, has been interesting in the past couple of months. He was initially supposed to die by lethal injection um, with a drug who, whose name, of course, is going to just completely escape me. Um, but he um, opted out if you can even do that, opted out of the lethal injection route, which would have pumped some drugs into his body in um, favor of sitting in an electric chair and receiving um, basically what amounts to thousands of volts of electricity being shot through your body and forcing you to die, pretty much a gruesome, terrible, painful death. And uh, many people say that the lethal injection is the uh, more humane way to go. However, there are people that believe that the lethal injection that he would have received, the drug that he would have received, would have sedated him, but it would have still caused him uh, to receive uh, pain internally, which feels like, it sounds like both drowning and being set on fire from the inside out. Neither of which I would ever want to uh, go through. So I'm just going to stay away from killing or harming anybody in any way. Um, Edmund Zagurski found himself on death row after uh, 1983 or 1984 when he apparently lured two men into a uh, forest or wooded area um, with the hopes or premise that they were going to receive a huge shipment of marijuana. Um, apparently that he got from South America. He didn't have any marijuana. He had never gone to South America, apparently. And so um, he then went and killed them by slitting their throats and just doing, I guess, a, a horrible, horrible death to them. So in a way, you know, we think, hey, he killed two people. The least we could do is kill him and get rid of a person who is this crazy, uh, such as Edmund Zagurski. But on the other hand, I am not a person that believes in two wrongs making a right in this case. And I feel that after having somebody... Um, sit and rot in a prison for 30 years. Um, no, don't put them back into society. I'm definitely not going to advocate for that. But they should at least be forced, subjugated to the worst extreme types of jobs that there can be. They should be tied up um, and shackled somewhere to a chain and just forced to do the most remedial jobs for the rest of their lives until they go crazy. They should not get any sort of care. They should just be simply left to rot to death literally and that to me is is humane because that way you're not you're not doing anything to them you're letting them live their lives but you're not giving them any sort of you know they, they, they sit here in these tempered um prisons with these beds and everything no just just give them a, a slate of rock and give him a mop to mop a floor and just keep them chained up give them some bread and some water Make sure he gets the daily caloric intake that he needs. Let some sunlight shine in every now and then, and that's it. But I just, I don't agree with the death sentence, man. It's it's terrible. No, no matter which way you go, no matter how you slice it, I just, I don't agree with taking somebody else's life. That's not up to us to decide. Now, the people that do decide to do it, they are barbarians. But when we decide to do it in the name of justice, how does that not make us barbarians as well? Because justice is blind, and justice in one person's eye might not be justice to somebody else. Just look at all the different religions and how they determine and decide side justice it's it's just not equal at all so in my mind i think the just the, the death sentence needs to go i think that we just need to allow people to serve life terms where they rot um we don't give them padded you know anything we don't give them the um options to you know learn or or read or, or do anything just just solitary confinement and a really small room I love Minority Report. It was perfect. They basically put people to sleep and just have them stay or wherever. If you watch Minority Report, they're like in these little stasis chambers. Um, that might work as well if it's not too expensive. But for me, I just say give them a, a two by two, maybe a four by four. I'm not sure about my U.S. units right now. Give them a four by four cell. 
um, enough for them to just sit down and lose their minds until maybe they kill themselves. And then that way, you know, if, if, if you believe that suicide means that you're, you know, not going to heaven or whatever, I won't say that too loud. Um, but, you know, whatever. But don't, don't give them the dignity of, one, having a last meal, two, getting to choose how they're going to die. No, just don't, just don't let them have any more contact with humanity at all. And I'm, that's, that's my point. So I'm not even going to read the rest of this guy's story. Apparently he grew up, he had a terrible um, upbringing and things like that. But again, it's, it's sad that people like this don't get the help that they need. So he was probably already a lost cause. Um, but you know, it's, it's just a sad story. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the death sentence. It, this went to the Supreme Court, and at literally, literally, like, 30 minutes before he was executed, they um, they denied his stay. Um, the Federal Court of Appeals put a stay in. The state um, wanted it to go away. Um, he applied to, to get the electric chair, and they had to go through and get the chair pre uh, prepped. Apparently, the creator of the electric chair um, for the state of Tennessee um, said it was all kinds of wrongs. Um, and the guy who created the electric chair um, wasn't even like a certified electrician. Um, he wasn't even a certified engineer. But he created all these different types of death devices in different states. His name is uh, something Lecter. It sounds like Hannibal Lecter. Is it Hannibal Lecter? No, it's not Hannibal Lecter. But anyway, yeah, this guy created all these different death machines and then told Tennessee that this, this thing might not even work. It might not do right. But apparently it did work because the guy's dead. Um, no details on if they had to shock him twice or whatever, but he is dead. Um, the, this blight upon humanity is no more, and so maybe we're better off, maybe we're not. Who knows? Who, who, who really knows? There are so many people out there that are just as capable, and of course we saw what happened in Pittsburgh this past week, and they want him, obviously, to get the death sentence. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out. I am out of here. I need some sleep. Goodbye. If I can end this video. It's not letting me end it.